What's good, fan? It's your man, Jimmy Conway, BeatsForLyricist.com, music production tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to export your song or your beat into a waveform. And I'm going to show you how to separate them into separate tracks. So I'm going to show you how to separate your kick from your snare, from your hi-hat, from your samples, from your bass, from your melody, from your whatever you got in the track so you have separate tracks that you could mix down in another software like Ableton or Cubase or Pro Tools, Studio One, whatever you use. All right. So let's get started. First thing you want to do is have your song ready. I don't have a song ready. I'm going to keep it funky with you. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use one of the uh, NPCs uh, expansion uh, boom bat expansion. I'm just pick any uh pick anything. Let's go night. All right. So let's see. Okay. So so I'm gonna show you how to uh, save this as a wave file, two track wave file. Then we're gonna show you how to save it as separate tracks. As you can see, in this beat, in this beat, all of the um, all of the sounds in bank A are used to compose this beat or this little instrumental. So I'm going to show you how to separate all your tracks so that you can um, mix them in another software. All right, this NPC doesn't have the uh, a lot of the mixing tools that I like <laughs> to mix and master and so I usually go to another software to mix and master. So uh, first thing you wanna do is, let's say the beat is done, my beat is done here. It's, it's just a little four bar pattern. You wanna hit uh, command or control on your Mac or PC, hit command, control, shift, and the letter E. That'll bring you to the export or the how the audio mix down is. So as you can see, I have a four bar audio, audio length right here. The tail, if you have a sound, let's say, let's say for instance, your beat's going and your last snare in the beat has a reverb on it. You don't want the exporting to cut the tail of the reverb off. You want that reverb to last so that people can hear the reverb, you know, basically. So you want to adjust your tail to however long that reverb is. Set it to a healthy length just to, you know, be sure. Okay. We're going to, uh, we're going to, Export from the audio outputs my stereo outs, which is playing back the from the beat here. We're gonna export as a WAV file, 24 bit, at 44.1, which is uh, basically CD quality. Well, actually, CD quality is 16 bit, 44.1, but 24 bit is a little bit higher quality. So hit export. I'm just going to export this to my desktop just so you can see, but you can export it to anywhere you want, you know, basically. So let's go over here. Go to desktop. Create a new folder. I'm going to call it Ignite Test. Same thing here. All right, so we're going to save this test file as ignite test dot wave. All right. 
Cool. All right, so we should have a little four bar snippet. There's the folder it's saved. If I open it up, Ignite Test. I can play a little snippet of it. I don't want to play too much. There you go, though. Now we're gonna play. Uh, now we're gonna separate the tracks so that you can, you know, mix your tracks down individually. Uh, let's close all this out. Okay, so the problem here is that although they are separated into different. They're separated into different tracks on a program, but not on the main sequence. So you need to break these up out of this here so that, if, let's go to tracks. Right now it's on track one, right? This whole beat is playing on track one. So what you want to do is come up here, go to Go to edit, go to track, excuse me, and go to explode. Now, if I go here, all of my tracks are separated. Or all of my drum parts. Let's solo this. Okay, so now everything is truly separated. What we're going to do next is just go to File, go to Export, go to Audio Mix Down. We're going to leave everything the same here on the top, but down here we're going to go from Stereo Output to Explode Tracks. Now you can also... You can also do uh, export your submixes too. If you just want to export, let's say, let's just say for example, you had like three or four or five guitars in a, in a, in a beat, whatever, and you put them into a submix so you can mix them all together. You can export that just that submix if you want to, okay? But right now we're just going to export instead of exporting any submix or any two tracks. Go to Explode Tracks. We're going to leave it on WAV file, 24-bit, 44.1. Hit Export. I'm going to leave it in this folder. I'm going to call it Ignite Test 2. And go Save. Now, hopefully, if it does it right. Yeah, it's doing it right. I think so. We come over here. Now, there you go. Everything is all separated, named out. And you can change the names later, or you can change it within the software before you go to, you know, to do this. All right. So, yeah. Oh, nope, sorry. You can also save it as an MP3. So let's just say, go to File, go to Export. Actually, I like I like Command keys. Command Shift E. Now instead of Wave, we can do an MP3. Now, if you notice the the bit depth changed. So, so like, if you want the highest quality, I would go 320. That's the closest to a CD quality as you can get. It's a high quality MP3. If you're sending it out to artists or whatever, you may want to experiment with a lower quality MP3 so they don't, you know, run off with the best mix they can. Uh, you got 48K or 44.1. You can save it as either or. Usually save it as... You're going to save this as whatever your song is. 
starting at. So, like, if I go to my preferences, uh, I can't do it now. But if I go to my audio preferences, you, if you're set to 44.1 there, uh, it changes from dot .wave to dot .mp3. I'm going to put it in the same Ignite folder here. Hit save. Holy cow. No, let me stop. <laughs> I left it on Explode Tracks. My fault. Take it off Explode Tracks. Leave everything the same. Let's just bring the bit depth down a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to do that. Ignite test seven seven seven. So I could tell a number difference. Hit save. There we go. There we go. Ignite test wave. Ignite test seven 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 dot MP three.